Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you are all doing well. I'm asking again a few moments out of your lives because I want to come back on the post game of Atalanta 0 Juventus to a crucial win for Juventus, really important, because this time in that short video I really want to speak my first feelings about the game, about football, about what happened on the field because there are moments like that where I don't decide. I lose totally the control of a post-game life. Luckily, it was to celebrate together with you. We went with emotions of winning an important game against a really strong Atalanta. Seeing a kid like Ealing Jr. scoring his first goal in Serie A, seeing Vlaovic coming back and scoring that goal after a crazy extended time, Injury time that the referee decided to go for, well, the people, they decided to go totally crazy to celebrate together with me in life, but especially waiting together with me, not leaving me, not speaking about football, but dreaming about going bigger with the community of Juventini. Let me first of all thank all of you because we just reached 25,000 Juventini on the channel and this is something that I really want to say thank you from the deepest of my heart, really. I will come back on that in another video or another live. Let's speak about football, about Atalanta, Juve, the starting lineup, how Juventus played, the beautiful things that we saw, like Rugani, for example, that I want to say man of the match, according to me, but we can't, we can't just dribble it, we can't avoid it, we have to send a message another time, unfortunately on the channel, stop racism, it is absolutely not normal that in calcio we put ourselves, calcio, with this dirt on ourselves, I don't care about the color of the shirt, about the color of the skin, we have to stop racism, no matter what team, no matter what fan base, it has to stop, that it is for Lukaku, Vlaovic, for other players, Karamo from Torino, we don't care, we have to stop this, this is absolutely not acceptable, really, really ugly scenes that we saw at the end of the game, scenes that will make again the tour of the world and that we really wanted to avoid it, didn't off top of that, because I listen again and I listen to the words of Gasperini after the game, you can't just justifying saying it, it is insult, no, no, it is racism and we have to point it out, we can't just ignore it, we have to point out the fact that these are racist things and that they have to stop. Juventus was able, thanks to fantastic technology, to ban the people first, immediately two people the day after and then, I don't know, more than 100, I believe nearly 200 people that will have DASPO, that means being banned from the stadium, let's see how Atalanta will react but also let's see how the media will tomorrow try and hopefully try to ban the same episode that happened to Lukaku. That would be a beautiful message to Calcio. No matter what team you support, no matter, we don't respect racism. We want to say stop to racism. Anyway, we go to the game, to the game of Juventus that won 2-0 and that it was crucial to win, especially after the result of Inder and Milan yesterday. We know it, ranking was that short. If today we lost, we could say we opened actually a big drama. A week of drama before going and playing against Sevilla in Europa League because that meant that the top four was really in danger. Juventus was able to do what we were not able to do in the month of April. That means two consecutive wins in Serie A, that's one thing, but also capitalizing on the beautiful gift that was offered to us because Lazio lost, Roma lost, hey guys, Atalanta today, we defeated them, so we can say that we take three points over all of them. At the moment, on the field, Juventus is first, second in Serie A. Starting lineups, the one that were actually tested by Max Allegri yesterday with Vlaovic, with Bremer, were looking quite okay. The best midfield possible with Fagioli, Locatelli and Rabiot. Locatelli and Rabiot that rested against Lecce. They were there, Quadrado was there and the one that we were all waiting for, Ealing Jr. was also there. Dusan Vlaovic, Angel Di Maria from the starting lineup and in defense Danilo, Bremer, Alexandro, the Brazilian defense. Before the game, we hear that there are two substitutions. The question about Valovic, I have no idea why that has been changed last minute, but I can explain myself why Rugani played instead of Bremer. Well, it's quite easy. When Bremer is probably saying to the mister this morning, I don't feel 100% of my capacity, Mister, he can do a lot of things. He can change everything and put Gatti there. But of course, if you put Gatti, we have a problem. 
who is playing in the middle. Danilo can't do that in a three-man defense. Alexander can't do that. That means that you have to play probably with Gatti, with Bonucci, and with Alexandro. Bonucci came from that beautiful performance against Lecce, risking him two games in a row was probably too big. So I believe that he did the best thing possible in defense, putting Rugani there. I know that a lot of people are thinking, Rugani, when we see him in the predicted lineup, we are already starting to look at the sky and praying God that everything goes well. I don't know why we have no trust in Rugani when he starts the game. I don't know. Is he a phenomenal? Is he the best defender of the world? Absolutely not. But every time I repeat you, when you're speaking bad about Rugani before the game, not after, because after, of course, you have the right to criticize, but before the game, go back to the stats of Rugani the last two years. Go and watch the games that he did against small teams, but also against big teams. And today, again, he's proving all of us, the haters, that we are wrong. Because look at that, how he put Zabata in his pocket. For me, man of the match, Urgani, for the trust that he received by Max Allegri, for the performance that he's doing on the field by leading also that three-man defense in a three-man defense that I don't remember he already played with, with Danilo and with Alexandro. Don't forget, two of them are ex-fullbacks that are changing their position in centre-backs. So I have to say fantastic performance for him. But then, can't we speak about the performance of Ealing Jr.? I have to say that... I saw the career of Ealing Jr. since he arrived at Juve and I blamed him for one thing, not being consistent in a season, but also not being consistent in 90 minutes. That means that sometimes he has peaks, sometimes not. And I was super happy to see him entering in Serie A and having that fantastic impact, velocity, power, dribbles, skills, able to do some assist, vision offensive. It was crazy. I was still doubting, is he able to start a game? especially a game like Atalanta, games where you know that you are obliged to win because starting a game is absolutely not the same as when you enter the game where you have one task, changing the result because you need to go and score one goal. When you start a game, you have to do two phases, offensively, defensively. Today, he showed that the guy is crazy. He's crazy because he proved all of us that were still doubting about him starting a big game in Serie A that he's able to do it. Fantastic. But you know what I appreciated the most of Ealing Jr.? And maybe that's a message that I want to send to all the Juventini players this time is when he's falling on the ground, he's able in a microsecond to stand up without complaining, without watching the referee, without looking for eye contact with Doveri asking for a foul. He's falling on the ground. He's stepping up with a, with a velocity that is thunder. He's going up. He's continuing to run. Double step. He's opening with lucidity to Rabiot. Rabiot across. There is Milik on the ground fighting with someone. And he's there. Start of the action. End of the action because he's doing that tapping with a fantastic, beautiful goal. Tapping are not easy, especially not if you are coming back from the uh, from from the middle of the field. So grande healing, and maybe some of us needs to watch a bit what is happening when you are standing up without complaining and going. This is really an example for all the senior players. An example given by one of the youngest ones of the pitch, if not the youngest one. So super happy for Iling Jr. Spoke about Rugani, spoke about Iling Jr. Can we speak about Dusan Vlaovic? Dusan Vlaovic, we already spoke about the racist chance, but able this time to enter and to play as we are expecting Dusan to play. Another fantastic goal after the beautiful goal versus Lecce. He's doing it again. The referee Doveri, and I don't want to speak too much about it, but at a certain moment it looks like, and let's not lie about it, all of us Juventini, we had the same exact feeling that he was waiting that Atalanta would score. If Atalanta would have scored at the 130 minutes, we would have played until the 130th. If it was at the 200 minutes, we would have played until the 200th. But doing so, Vlaovic that missed that one-on-one -on -one against Sportiello, that probably he would have thought about until the game of Sevilla, remembering that scene, watching the highlights and seeing how did I miss that goal? Well, this time Dusan Vlaovic, thanks to Doveri, without doing it, you know, he go and he scored a fantastic goal. A goal that is his second one. 
the second one in a row after Lecce. Was able to do it in the beginning of the season. Roma and Spezia. That's an ultra confident boost for him to be prepared for Sevilla, where I'm sure he will start the game, except of small injuries. Hopefully, it will not happen. Can we speak about Paul Pogba before closing the video? Mamma mia. I said it and I will continue to repeat it. Paul Pogba is the best midfielder of Serie A. At 30% on one leg, he's doing things that nobody's able to do. The first time, he's giving a fantastic assist. I would have preferred that he went on goal. And when he didn't, when he chose for that assist for Di Maria, I was thinking, mm, that's maybe why he's not ready to start yet a game in Serie A. And probably we will not even see him until the end of the season. You go... Paul Pogba that I know he's going on target and he's breaking the goal. He's waiting, he's not ready yet, but the fact that he's there, that he's able to play 30 minutes in a game, like the one versus Atalanta, and we know it, they are really aggressive. Well, it shows me that Paul Pogba, finally, we can say he's going back. He's not back yet, but he's starting to be back with some continuity. 10 minutes here, 12 minutes here, 15 minutes there, 20 minutes here. Now today he played 30 minutes. Paul Pogba, will we see him from the start before the end of the season? I would not put my hand in fire, but the Paul Pogba that I'm watching now, I'm really satisfied because I'm already thinking about the future. I want to finish now, this season, at the best of our capacities, but then also thinking about the future. And a future with Pogba from the first minute, it's totally different. A future with Federico Chiesa from the start is totally different. A future with Ealing Jr., with Fagioli, with Miretti. It's a beautiful future. The future is bright. We are not there yet. We have to work really hard to arrive it. And then when you are looking at the bench and you have players like Pogba, Vlaovic, Kostic and Chiesa, excuse me, but when these players are entering the pitch, a full team makes the difference. Look, I really enjoyed Juventus, except of the last 15, 20 minutes of the first half, but even there. Atalanta was not able to go on target. It's true. They did. They hit the post. They missed a moving penalty with Pasalic at the end of the first half. That could have been really dangerous. Also there, Chesney, fantastic in the second half, saving that free kick. But you also need a goalkeeper, of course. No, I was happy with the performance. Tomorrow, we go back with analyzing in depth how we play, the possession and everything you want, to, to, the shots on target and so on and so on. For me, a show... We showed maturity. I was not convinced that we could have won against Atalanta today that was in form, with the Juventus probably not yet in form. We did what we had to do in the month of April. Winning, winning, winning. But on top of that, adding the fact that we want to win. And if you want to win, what we probably didn't show enough in the month of April, this changed everything. Grazie ragazzi. We see each other maybe this night for live. Otherwise it's tomorrow morning. Grazie, forza. You bet.